Hey there, I have something to share with you. It's the greatest thing for you to know to become a victorious soul. One thing, one thing for you to know, and that is the power of the love of God for you. I come on here, I'm Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. And I have learned just how much God loves you and me. There was a time when I didn't believe that God loved me. I believed he loved everybody else and not me. That gave me a lot of insecurity. I suffered rejection all over the place. And I was reading this morning another one of these life-altering ways of thinking that conveying the love of God in a way that we go, wow. Never saw it that way. I was steeped in a lot of religion. Growing up and picking it up and the trauma, I filtered it incorrectly when it was taught to me, even perhaps in the right way, because I believed God didn't love me. But this morning in this devotional, I was reading about a guy named Zacchaeus. Maybe you've heard of him. When I was a little kid, we had this song we sang at church about Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and it was this cute little song, and he's up in this tree, and God was always going to catch me doing something wrong. The story of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was a, a tax collector. He cheated people. And the people in his life, they didn't like him because he was a criminal. <laughs> Except for the criminals. When Jesus was on the earth, Zacchaeus wanted to hear what Jesus. He wanted to see him, but he was really short. So we had to climb up in this tree to be able to see Jesus, and Jesus was walking by. And Jesus addressed him. But not just, hey, you guy up in the tree. He knew his name. He knew his name was Zacchaeus. He knew him. And in this devotional, it said a couple of things that I, that's what I really want to drive home with this. The most important thing for you to know, the power of the love of God is Jesus knew Zacchaeus. He knew he was a criminal. He knew his heart because he's God. And he loved Zacchaeus because he called Zacchaeus down and says, hey, I'm coming for you. But the way I grew up with that I'm coming for you is I'm coming for you and you're in big trouble kind of thing. This was not that. This was I'm coming for you because I want to be near you. God is coming for you because he knows you and he wants to be near you. That's the power of the love of God. Someone I'm doing that devotional with, I love how they put it. Because I'm like, this picture of the love of God has not been magnified enough. It has not been illustrated enough. People think God is mad at them and that, you know, just wait till you step out of the line. And God's going to get you for that. And you're sick because you did something wrong. And all these other things that are lies. But one of the things she said, because I said, this has been portrayed wrong been portrayed wrong by the church for a long time. And she said, yes, there's been a lot of showing, I like how she put it, the spanking Lord instead of the loving Lord. God doesn't come looking to spank us. God doesn't come looking to get us in trouble. Jesus came to seek and save us because he loves us. He's called the good shepherd. I didn't even get that. I've had people misalign sheep, like sheep are bad and we're stupid and all this negativity. There's so much negativity out there about the love of God. But the love of God is powerful. It will transform your life and your heart if you will get to know him really, truly as the one who created you in love. He is love. So that's our greatest need as humans is to be loved, to know we're loved because we're created in his image who is love. And he loves us so deeply, so thoroughly. He knows every aspect of us. And he's coming for us because he wants to be near us, not because he wants to punish us, not because he wants to make us different, not because he wants to conform us into something, because he loves us. And I want you to know that that is the greatest thing for you to know to become a victorious soul, is to know that you are loved by a God who is all-powerful and all-love. And it's all about our relationship with with him. This world will pass away. My life will end. Your life will end. But there's eternity. 
And our relationships are the things that we cherish the most. And our relationship with God, that's what he cherishes the most, our relationship with him. And that's how we find victories, by connecting with him. Because he knows the answers. We don't know them, we think we do. But, you know, we can learn. And then we, we connect with other people, like you and me. I connect with you, you connect with me. And if you struggle in this area, I can help you with my coaching. I can help you with just the things I send out every week. If you're like, hey, I ain't got no money. Well, I'm not seeking to, you know, drain anyone of their life. I want to help people because I suffered for a long time. So let me help you in whatever way I can. Connect with me. Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. I'm that lady on the internet who loves you, and it's true. And so until next time, 